I'm Lisa and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you what is working in my living room and what is not. So we have been here in my canning cabin as we call it for just over a year and we continue to love this space. It is so bright, it is so beautiful. This is our first full winter here because we were only here for about a month of winter last year. So it's been so nice to see the house in all four seasons. And my furniture has also seen all four seasons of children. <laughs> so I wanna share with you a couple of things that have been working really well and some things that I maybe would have done different if I were to do it all over. First thing I wanna talk about is the shiplap. So this was a little bit of a controversy because people were like, you're putting shiplap in a place that you rent, i.e. like, I can't take this with me when I move. Like I'm putting it up, it's permanent. And it was one of the things that I just really intentionally decided that I was going to invest in because I wanted to make this space my own. We were able to do this at a cost that was reasonable for me and I just I continue to be so happy with it I love the texture I love um, just the ambience it gives my living room and it's definitely something I do not regret I do not regret for one second putting up all the beautiful shiplap on the flip side of that my rug my rug was not a winner I like this rug, I loved it in the photos, and I like the texture when we first got it. It's that nice sort of large knit wool. But what I did not realize was how much natural fibers pill. You can see all these weird like kind of loopy, it basically just looks old and tattered all the time. And so if I were to do it all again, I would probably not have gone with this rug and I would have gone with something more tightly woven. As I shared with you here, I'm moving to Florida, so I'm being really careful. There are certain things that I am willing to invest in because they're going to increase my quality of life. And then there are certain things that I'm kind of like, meh, I can live with it because I know I'm going to be moving and I might want to get something different. I'll be honest with you though, the more I talk about it and just thinking about it here, I think I wanna get a new rug and, and just figure it out because it just, the, the texture of this rug is driving me nuts. Second thing I love in my living room are my navy blue sofas. So we got the Sven sofas from Article. So with Article, you're buying this online and you don't sit on it first. I have never bought a sofa, not for me, not for a client, not ever. I have never bought a sofa without sitting on it first. And so I was really mm, just skeptical. I was kind of, I basically read a whole bunch of reviews online to see if you know people actually liked their sofa. And after doing my extensive Google search, it seemed that people were pretty satisfied with their sofa. So I was willing to give it a shot, especially because they have a pretty decent return policy. So a couple things I wanna say about these sofas. I love the color and I love the shape. I love that it's got a little tiny hint of mid-century modern, and I love how it just really like has a grand presence in my living room. But what I don't like about these sofas are two things. Number one, and this might be just a unique thing about my particular house and seven children, but my children tend to take the back cushions off and build all kinds of forts. And let me tell you, I'm all about supporting creativity and fort building. However, ugh, the cushions have gotten like such a beating, like really, they've been really worn. So the shape is kind of weird. I can't decide like, is this because it's my house or is this because of the quality and the structure of the cushions? So I do find that the long back cushions are kind of like lumpy in places. Like I feel like I have to like move the down around a little bit and I probably could. And then I am schools out on the color. So I love, the navy blue color. Oh, I love me some navy blue. In my 11 years of practicing interior designs, clients would always be like, I really need to get a dark sofa because it's gonna hide all the stains. My friends, just because something is a dark color, it doesn't mean stains are gonna hide. And so what I find with this sofa is that it is a little bit high maintenance in the sense of, if my kids were eating literally anything and they're not allowed to eat on the sofa, canning children watching this, you're not allowed to eat on the sofa. But of course, grubby paws if you don't get to them fast enough, you know, they get onto the, onto the sofa. So the stains show up real quick. Like, like think goldfish crackers, it's orange. Like that orange, you know, dust shows up really quick on the um, navy blue um, fabric. As well as I have sippy cups that are spill proof and I will say they are pretty amazing. Like you can flip them upside down, but sometimes like a little bit of liquid will get out and those stains show up real quick on this material as well. But 
What I will say is that this washes up really well. It takes some commitment, like literally it's taking a little bit of detergent diluted with water and then my muscles and I'm literally just scrubbing the stains out. But when I do that, or if I invested in an upholstery cleaner to come, I could do that also, it does turn out almost brand new. So it's a bit of a double-edged sword, I would say, with this sofa where the stains show up pretty significantly, but when I get to it with soap and water, when I eventually get to it, it kind of comes out looking pretty nice. So all in all, I love these sofas. I love the lines. I love how they feel very elegant. I don't love that the cushions are all detachable. And I don't love that the sofa is so high maintenance in the sense of stains and washing them out. However, for me, because I really wanted this navy blue color, for me, it's worth the maintenance. Tell me in the comments, would you use a navy blue sofa in your living room? Or is navy blue way too bold of a color for you? A third little tidbit that's changed in my living room that I'm currently really liking is we actually ended up moving our television from downstairs to upstairs. Now, normally, this is like a really big no-no for me. Normally, I am like very anti the TV being in the main space. And I'm anti-TV being in the main space because I just find sometimes it can be really tempting to turn it on all the time, to, you know, have it on in the background. The kids are asking for it more and more. But it's just kind of a funny story. Literally, my internet and phone provider came over and was like, it's actually cheaper for you with your plan to get cable. And so literally my husband was like okay like let's just get cable it's cheaper for our monthly plan and so when we had it we had to put the cable box upstairs long story short it was super bowl and so we were like well let's just move the tv upstairs and like watch the super bowl we were like having people over it was super fun super bowl was in february and we never moved the tv back downstairs and i will be super honest with you it's actually been really nice like the kids still watch their tv shows like after school and we all kind of hang out in this beautifully lit living room you know i can be putting away the dishes from dinner i can be um you know putzing around in my office i can be tidying up and we're still all together whereas before they kind of went downstairs and i was tidying up dinner and whatnot upstairs so i actually kind of like that we're a bit more communal and i'll be honest because i'm really strict about how much tv we watch it's not really been an issue with it on in the background or anything. So um, it actually has worked out really well, but I would say that you've got to like, you know, if you're the kind of person that wants it on all the time, um, if it's gonna be challenging for you to have it in the main space, then I would sort of caution against having it there. Honestly, I could go on and on. There are so many things that I really continue to love. I love my Ottomans from Tonic Living. The kids kind of play like roller derby on them, but I'm okay with that. I love my pillows. I love some of the accessories. I love the Ottomans. The Ottomans have been, whoa, I love my Ottomans. I love those tufted Ottomans. So honestly, like, I'm feeling pretty like happy about how things have also been wearing over time. And again, I get a lot of traffic, so I'm really quite proud or happy with the uh, the decisions that we made. If you like this video, I would love for you to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe and that bell. And until next time, cheers to designing your beautiful life.